If you haven't yet sold a screenplay, and especially if you've been struggling at the craft of screenwriting for years, it may be that the reason you're struggling to write screenplays that sell is because your screenwriting education missed some key things that are necessary for success. So in this video, I'm gonna reveal six things your screenwriting education missed and show you how those things are keeping you from your ultimate goal. Let's do this. Hello, my creative friends. If you're ready to stop writing for your bookshelf and start writing for production, hit the subscribe button, tap that bell, and make sure you don't miss a thing because you never know which video holds that one key you need to break through. Now, look, when you're thinking about writing a screenplay, it's only natural to think about the document itself, how to turn that movie idea in your head into a movie on the page. But the unique reality of screenwriting is that screenplays only exist to be turned into a film. The screenplay is not an end product. So to create screenplays at a professional level requires not just storytelling skills, not just writing skills, but a whole range of additional skills that most people who teach screenwriting don't fully appreciate. It takes a completely different look at the challenge of the craft to understand what's actually missing, which is why the traditional sources of insight and information often don't fully understand how to help you get to your target. So by simply understanding, simply hearing, simply being made aware of the six things that we're gonna cover in this video, you can start to target your focus on the unique skill set that can lift your work from what most writers are doing to an actual usable status. To help make this a little clearer, let's just jump straight into it. The first thing that your screenwriting education missed is also arguably the most important thing, which is the translation to the screen. Screenwriting is a very unique craft in that you're not creating something that will be directly consumed by the end user. We don't go on amazon.com and say, hey, what's the latest unproduced screenplay? I want to have a read. A screenplay is a complete story and a unique literary work unto itself, but it's only going to be read and appreciated by the people who then take that screenplay and turn it into a film. And it's the film at the end of the process that is consumed directly by the viewer. So arguably one of the most important things a screenwriter needs to learn and understand is how their words on the page translate into the final film. But no screenwriting class or workshop or book or podcast or educational resource of any kind whatsoever takes your work and translates it to the screen. And that's totally understandable because it would be completely unrealistic to do that because the cost of making a film is dramatically more substantial than the cost of writing a screenplay. So everyone focuses on the craft of building the stories and building the characters, but a novice or intermediate writer can spend years working on refining those words for the page without ever actually seeing them translated to the screen. You may very well be writing material material that simply can't be translated to the screen. And because of this inherent budgetary problem, most writers never develop the skill set that's actually needed. Even if you understand it intellectually, if you don't have that physical hands-on experience, you don't really understand the subtleties and nuances involved. It's a little bit like learning how to play the guitar. You can be taught where to place your fingers to make a chord sound, but just understanding it is different to someone who's been doing it for years and years. Any professional can spot a novice from a mile away. So how do you learn those nuances? Well, you have to see your work turned into an actual film, which involves a team of people who are generally assembled by the producer. Which brings us to the second thing that your screenwriting education missed, which is the needs of your partner. Because a screenplay only exists to be turned into a film, and because the producer is your partner on the project who's going to spearhead the turning of the screenplay into the film, it should kind of go without saying that it's essential to understand the producer's perspective so that you can infuse their needs and answer their challenges within the screenplay itself. The product that we're making, the movie or the TV show, the product the producer is producing 
is a story and needs to be effective at eliciting emotion within the audience. So story and characters and dialogue and creativity are always paramount. But if a writer doesn't understand the needs of a producer, the challenges they face, what their larger objectives and problems actually are, the screenplay can often feel very out of sync with what the producer's trying to get accomplished. So if they read your script and it's devoid of emotion or it's a copycat of something else that already exists in the market or it's just not timely for this moment, if a producer can't see a potential audience large enough for the budget demands of the project, then the producer is going to have a very hard time packaging this project together, attracting investors to the project, and ultimately making the film. And when a writer doesn't understand those dynamics, either because they haven't had any personal experience with it, or they simply haven't learned it from any source, it's going to color and change the nature of your screenplay. So how do you learn the producer's perspective, aside from watching the videos on this channel? Well, first of all, you're going to want to watch interviews with producers or behind the scenes content to understand what that script to screen translation is all about. Read books on producing and production. Go out and make some low budget short films. See the challenges and the dynamics that are facing producers. The better you understand the producer's perspective, the sooner and more likely you'll be to create something that's in sync with their needs. Which brings us to the third thing that your screenwriting education missed, which is that alignment is a skill. There is only one way you will ever sell a screenplay, and that is if your project is in sync with the immediate needs of at least one producer. So many writers give up in frustration thinking it all comes down to luck. It's not luck. It's alignment. Disney is never going to make a horror film. Why? Because it's off brand. It's not in sync. It's not aligned with what they do. Similarly, if you've written an extraordinary kids film and you're going to send it off to a horror film producer, it's not aligned with them. Now, those are big, obvious alignments, but alignment happens at every level. If you were to write a story that was perfect for me and what I want to make, if I don't have the resources to make that project and I find another project Project that's not quite as in sync with the kind of story I want to make, but it is very much in sync with the resources I have available to me right now. I'm going to go with the one that's more in sync with what I can do right now. Now, the biggest challenge of alignment is that the variables are always shifting. A producer who is perfect for your indie film might have just graduated to a studio picture, and now your project is just no longer aligned with them. So one key takeaway here is that you should always write what you're passionate about, because finding that alignment can come after the fact. If you wrote your story for a mid-30s female lead, and your producer has access to a 22-year-old male social media star, can you adjust your script so that it aligns with the producer's needs? It's not just as simple as swapping the character out because each character is going to make different choices, which will take us on a different story journey. So you as a writer need to develop the skill of alignment. So how do we do that? We do that through feedback. Most writers approach feedback in an entirely unproductive way. They send their work out for feedback, hoping to get positive comments to give them some sort of validation for what they wrote. But feedback is a very specific tool that shows you if your project is landing the way you want it to land. If it doesn't, and the notes you get indicate that your reader wanted something different out of it, this is the perfect opportunity to see if you can make that land the way the reader wants it to land. The more you develop that ability, the stronger your alignment alignment will become. It's really all about using your creativity and imagination to get to your target. Which brings us to the fourth thing your screenwriting education missed, which is the mechanics of how your brain works. Screenwriters spend a lot of time learning about formatting and story structure and character building and how to write compelling dialogue. All of these things are tools that will help you tell a better story, but we rarely focus on the most important tool in your arsenal, which is your brain. The human brain is an extraordinary 
tool. It takes all of your sensory input, what you see, what you hear, what you smell and taste and touch, and processes all of that input to help you understand your world. The brain is comprised of tens of billions of neurons, which communicate with one another through electrochemical signals. Your neurons form synaptic connections organically to help you act upon whatever it is you need to act upon. One of the key characteristics of the brain is that it has what's known as plasticity. Synaptic connections will form to help you achieve what you're trying to achieve and disengage when that skill is no longer required. When you first do something, like imagine a story and decide to try to write it, your brain doesn't yet have the optimal neural connections to be able to do that effortlessly and fluidly. So the first things you write don't exactly come out the way you imagine them. But as you come back day after day after day, those neural connections begin to form and strengthen. Eventually, if you do something consistently enough, that neural connection becomes almost hardwired. It begins to grow what's known as a myelin sheath around the connection, sort of a protective tube to ensure that those signals can go back and forth without getting diluted or interrupted and can happen faster and more intuitively. If you're inconsistent or only doing it when you feel inspired, you're not actually strengthening those neural connections. Part of the reason writers struggle is that they don't understand the mechanics of the most important tool they're using. But even worse, the benefits of using this tool efficiently is not woven into what they do each they're day. They're not taught how to use their brain in a way that's synergistic with creativity. And it makes all the rest of it, the story structure, the characters, the dialogue, the subplots, the subtext, all of it, just information that they're supposed to magically absorb and just somehow apply. When you understand the underlying dynamics of the tools you use, you are empowered to use those tools in their most efficient way and find new creative ways to apply the tools. And this includes the true magic of writing, which is the fifth thing that your screenwriting education missed, which is the true power of your creative subconscious. We don't consciously think about our lungs breathing or our heart beating or our stomach digesting our food. Those are all physiological processes that the brain is managing and monitoring unconsciously. But the thinking process and the imagination process and the source of our creativity is happening under our conscious awareness as well. Right now, as I'm speaking to you, you're consciously focused on me, but you're not consciously aware of all the connections that your brain is making. All of our memories and our dreams and our interactions with different people throughout our lives is all subtly shaping who we are and how we perceive the world around us. One of the things that I discovered about the human mind through teaching writers is that ideas spark ideas. It's how the human brain works. Well, not only does this happen consciously when we're focused on it, it also happens subconsciously. This is why you can be walking through a park or taking a shower or humming a tune and just all of a sudden, the idea pops into your head. Where did it come from? Well, in your creative subconscious, ideas have been sparking ideas based upon what you're seeing, based upon what you're doing, based upon how you're interacting with the world. Well, the simple fact is we can steer our creative subconscious. And it's not some crazy mystical woo-woo kind of thing. What we put into our mind, the experiences, the knowledge, the awareness, that's the source that sparks those new ideas. Most screenwriting education, most writing education doesn't take this into consideration. And yet mastering this is the key to making your creativity automatic and intuitive. If you don't ever tap into and develop your creative subconscious, writing will always be a struggle. It'll always be a fight. Writers will develop it naturally if they simply take consistent ongoing daily action, but most writers will never develop this essential tool because most educators simply don't know it exists or how to develop it. So how do you actually build this skill? Well, that brings us to the sixth thing that your screenwriting education missed, which is that the process is 
foundational. The simple fact is that the basic process is the same for everyone. We all start with an idea in our head or maybe a bunch of ideas in our head, which we then have to take and give shape to. Once we've given them shape, we have to commit them to the page. We have to write something out. Once we've given it shape, we have to go back through it and rework it and refine it so that what's on the page matches the intention behind the idea. Then we have to go through and refine those words on the page into a compelling reader experience so that when someone reads it, they have the experience in their mind that we wanted them to have in their mind. This overarching process is the same whether you're writing a studio blockbuster or an art house indie film or a completely experimental avant-garde project. But here's the thing, process is defined by your target. If your target is writing a screenplay, then even the sharpest, cleverest process in the world is only ever going to get you to the screenplay. If your target is making a sale or the movie that's going to come out of your screenplay, your process is incomplete if it doesn't include that part of the process. And this is sadly why most writers will never succeed at this craft because most writers approach the writing haphazardly. They write when they're inspired or their approach to the writing varies with each project they write. It's like a bodybuilder only lifting weights with one arm. They have these giant muscles on one side and absolutely nothing on the other side. It's unbalanced and uneven and it's not going to deliver consistent results. And this is why the process itself is foundational because understanding the process and going through that process builds and strengthens those neural connections. You can weave the producer's perspective or whatever target you have in mind into your process, which can enable you to align and even pre-align your imagination with your end target. Skipping or ignoring any of that is leaving essential necessary elements on the table. And that brings us to today's bonus thing your screenwriting education missed, which is that results are holistic. In a screenplay, absolutely every detail is interconnected. What the character says at the beginning, how you describe the character, what other characters say about your character will affect and impact every scene throughout your movie. Every scene throughout your movie will affect and impact every other scene throughout your movie. You can think of a screenplay as like a big jigsaw puzzle where every piece has to fit together for the picture to unfold. Well, this is actually true of crafting your screenplay and developing your writing as well. If you think back through the six things we've covered in this video, translation to the screen, the producer's perspective, the skill of alignment, how your brain works, your creative subconscious driving it all, and the process being foundational, all six of those things are like hidden layers to the craft of screenwriting. If you miss or ignore any one of them, it can inhibit your ability to write screenplays that can sell or to go on and sell those screenplays. I would argue that 99% of writers don't get to their goal because 99% of writers are missing these things. And this is why I said at the beginning that if you simply understand these elements, it's going to elevate your writing to a whole new level. In fact, it's all so interconnected, you can actually calculate your odds of success. Look, the odds for any given writer are somewhere between 0% and 100%. I can tell you exactly where you sit and how to slide literally all the way to 100%. It's a simple calculation, but there are a number of variables involved. So in the next episode of this series, I'm gonna reveal precisely how to calculate your odds of success and what to do to improve those odds all the way to 100%. That video is right here. YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video right here. Or if you're ready to take action on these six things, click here and make sure you get some writing done today. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there.